Good day, students. Today we should talk about connective tissue and uh, about function and the classification of connective tissue. Connective tissue proper about cartilage, bone, and blood. Connective tissue is the most abundant type of uh, tissue in our body. And uh, there are a lot of functions. First, separates organs, systems, connects tissues, support and the movement, some type of connective tissue storage for energy responsible, transport function, protection, and the forms structure. All type of connective tissue consist of uh, cells and extracellular matrix. Extracellular matrix consists of ground substance and fibers, remember. If you say about connective tissue cells, um, there are, we can divide the connective tissue cells according to their function. Example, group of cells which ends to the suffix blast, they functionally, they can produce matrix. Cells which ends to the suffix site, they maintain matrix. And a group of cells which uh, names ends to the suffix clust, uh, destroy matrix. Function of this group of cells destroy or break down of matrix. For example, fibroblast, fibrocyte, and the fibroblast, um, these are cells of um, connective tissue proper. Fibroblast, these type of cells produce fibers. Fibrocytes maintain uh, matrix of connective tissue proper. Fibroclasts which destroy fibers. Another example, osteoblast, osteocyte and osteoclast, these are cells of bone. Function of osteoblast, they produce bone. Function of osteocyte, they maintain bone. Osteoclasts, they can destroy bone. Next example, chondroblasts, chondrocytes, and chondroclasts. According to this uh, classification, of course, chondroblasts, uh, these three group of cells, they are the cells of cartilage. Chondroblasts, which produce uh, cart matrix of cartilage, chondrocytes, which maintain matrix of cartilage, and the chondroclast, which can destroy matrix of cartilage. Another classification of connective tissue cells, look, we can divide connective tissue cells into resident cells and wandering cells. What does it mean? Resident cells, which lives always into the uh, connective tissue, wandering cells, uh, which uh, circulate into the bloodstream, but when we need, they can migrate under the connective tissue. That's why this group of cells is called wandering cells. Sample fibroblast, macrophages, adipose cell, mast cell, and undifferentiated mesenchymal cell. These are resident cells which always live into the connective tissue. Group of wandering cells consist of lymphocytes, plasma cell, neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, and monocytes. Or generally, we can see these are types of uh, these are cells, uh, types of white blood cells. And we said that matrix of connective tissue consists of fibers and the ground substance. And the fibers divided into collagen fibers, reticular and elastic fibers. Example here, we can see loose connective tissue, which consists of this thick fibers of collagen fibers because the thickest type of fibers are collagen fibers which also divided into many many types example we can see collagen uh, fibers first type second third and etc elastic fibers these are thin fibers 
reticular fibers, also thin fibers, but these reticular fibers divide into many, many branches. That's why they can form network. Ground substance, ground substance, um, example, but we can see wide, wide spaces between cells and the fibers. These spaces filled by the ground substance. According to the um, ground substance, connective tissue divided into many types. Example, for example, one example, blood also type, one type of connective tissue and ground substance of blood consists of plasma, which consists of proteins and etc. Uh, another types of connective tissue, ground substance of connective tissue, consists of proteoglycans, hyaluronic acids, glycosamine glycans. Generally, we can see that ground substance, according to the components of ground substance, connective tissue can be responsible um, for different function. Yeah, this is a, uh, in the human body, we can find this the main five type of connective tissue. First one, loose or areolar connective tissue. Second one, dense fibrous connective tissue. Next, cartilage, bone, and blood. This is another classification of connective tissue, which is divided into three main types. First one is embryonic connective tissue. Why embryonic connective tissue? This type of connective tissue we can find only during embryogenesis or during embryonic development, uh, which consists of mesenchymal connective tissue and the mucous connective tissue. If you remember, um, embryo has three germ layer, ectoderm, intraderm, and the mesoderm. And the mesenchymal cells or mesenchymal connective tissue uh, development from the mesoderm mainly mucous connective tissue. Example, umbilical cord, which consists of three different blood, uh, three blood vessels. Um, and between blood vessels, we can find mucous connective tissue also, which is called also Barton's jelly. And the next classification connective tissue proper, which they were into loose, dense connective tissue, reticular and adipose tissue. And this next, Specialized connective tissue, which consists of cartilage, bone, blood. Why specialized connective tissue? This group of connective tissue consists of special cells, which are responsible for special functions. That's why we can say this is a specialized connective tissue. Okay, let's discuss one by one. First, loose connective tissue, mostly consists of collagen fibers, few elastic fibers, thin fibers, and uh, cell components of this type connective tissue mainly consist of uh, fibroblasts. If you remember, we said fibroblasts can produce fibers. And uh, if we want to say about location um, of this type of connective tissue, we can find between glands, nerves, muscles, between skin, and also blood vessels um, surrounded by the loose connective tissue. Function separates tissue, connects and supports. Dense connective tissue divide into regular and irregular. We can see dense regular connective tissue and the dense irregular connective tissue. What does it mean? Collagen fibers of dense regular connective tissue located parallel to each other, parallel. And we can see dense regular connective tissue, but fibers of dense irregular connective tissue can see uh, located regularly. And um, of course, there are more fibers. Matrix part of this uh, dense connective tissue consists of uh, fibers. There are more fibers than um, ground substance. Example, you know, what is tendons, ligaments, fascia, they are, uh, they are dense regular connective 
tissue. Dense irregular connective tissue, uh, example, the innermost layer or deepest part of the dermis consists of dense irregular connective tissue. Also, capsules of the kidney, spleen, testes consist of dense irregular connective tissue. Adipose tissue consists of special cells, which is called adipocytes, which can store uh, lipids. Located below, below the skin, uh, if you know, uh, our skin consists of three layers, epidermis, dermis, and the hypodermis. Hypodermis consists of adipose tissue. And also we can find around kidneys, mammary glands, adipose tissue. Function, cation, insulation, and the storage energy. We can see that the adipose tissue uh, can be divided into two types, brown adipose tissue, which consists of brown adipocytes, and white adipose tissue, which consists of white adipocytes. Morphologically, there are several um, differences between white adipocytes and brown adipocytes. If you compare the size of brown adipocytes or from white adipocytes, of course, size of brown adipocytes smaller than white adipocytes. And the nucleus of white adipocytes located in the peripheral part, but nucleus of brown adipocytes located in the center. And also brown adipocytes have a lot of mitochondria than white adipocytes, but in human body, in adult, uh, body that are, uh, mainly consist of white adipocytes, mainly represent white uh, adipose tissue. Another type of connective tissue is cartilage. Cartilage is a form of connective tissue composed of cells which is called chondrocytes and a highly specialized extracellular matrix. 95% consists of extracellular matrix, only 5% consists of cells. And uh, cartilage can be three types, hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and the fiber cartilage. Um, matrix of hyaline cartilage mainly consists of collagen fibers. Um, Matrix of elastic cartilage mainly consists of elastic fibers. Uh, matrix part of fiber cartilage consists of um, first type of collagen, bundles of first type collagen fibers. And uh, morphologically, all elastic cartilage covered by the perichondrium in this picture, not visible, but all type of elastic cartilage covered by the perichondrium. Hyaline cartilage also covered by the perichondrium, except articular cartilage. Fiber, in fiber, cart, fiber cartilage, uh, they mm, don't have, mm, they cannot cover it by the perichondrium because absent perichondrium. Uh, if you remember, we said that cartilage consists of cells, which is called uh, fibroblasts, which are responsible for the, um, uh, which can produce matrix, and the fibrocytes, which maintain matrix, and the fibroclasts, which can destroy matrix. These are three types of cells, the cartilage. And next type of connective tissue is bone. Bone is a connective tissue. Uh, which consists of, uh, matrix part consists of uh, minerals and the function of course first supporting, another function protection, which is also responsible movement, uh, also can regulate uh, electrolyte balance, can regulate acid base balance, and also responsible for blood formation. If you remember uh, bone marrow of the bones, response for the blood formation. And the bone morphology consists of following cells. Osteocytes, which maintain bone tissue, osteoblasts, which forms bone matrix, osteogenic cells, which can work as stem cell, and the osteoclasts, which can destroy matrix of the bone. 
we can divide the bone into two types, primary or immature or morphological wound bone, and the secondary, this is the second type of bone. We can say mature bone or lamella bone. Primary bone uh, form in fetal development of bone repair. Uh, that's why primary bone. And there are more abundant osteocytes than fibers. And there's fibers, collagen fibers, of course, can look irregularly. Secondary bone mature, which consists of uh, different type of lamella, uh, and also matrix part um, consists of osteocytes. And uh, last type of connective tissue, blood. Blood consists of uh, like another type of connective tissue cells and uh, matrix. Matrix part or ground substance of the blood is called plasma. 55% of the blood consists of plasma and 45% uh, consists of form elements or cells, which can divide into three types, red blood cells, white blood cells, and uh, blood platelets. Plasma consists of water and the proteins, and we can see here large proteins like albumin, globulins, and the fibrin chains. Also, plasma consists of other cells. Example in this picture, we can see red part is red blood cells. Uh, we said that 45% of blood consists of formed elements. If we say exactly 44% consists of red blood cells, only 1% consists of uh, white blood cells and the platelets. Others, this is a yellow part is plasma. And you can see in this slide, different type of formed elements, first red blood cells, uh, function first function in transport of course they can transport different type of uh, products and we can see platelets which are responsible for blood coagulation and we can see here different type of white blood cells uh, morphologically all type of white blood cells um, size of all white blood cells usually larger than red blood cell and the all type of white blood cells have nucleus. This uh, purple part is nucleus. And um, they are usually irregular in shape, colorless, and do not contain hemoglobin. Uh, white blood cells divided first into granulocytes and agranulocytes. What does it mean, granulocytes and agranulocytes? Granulocytes means Mm, this type of white blood cells, cyto in the cytoplasm of these type of white blood cells, we can find special granules, which stain it by different uh, dyes into uh, different color. A granulocyte, they don't have special granules. A means absent. And uh, granulocytes also divide into three types, neutrophils and eosinophils and basophils. What does it mean, neutrophils? Of course, their function are different. Um, granules of neutrophils stain it by the basic dye into blue color. Uh, granules of eosinophils stain it by acid dye into red color. Granules of basophils stain it um, by the basic dyes into blue color um, and agranulocytes. Now we said that there are no uh, special granules um, and the agranulocytes divide into lymphocyte and monocytes. Uh, we can see in this picture morphological difference between white blood cells, between different type of white blood cells. Example, um, neutrophils have multi-lobe nucleus, uh, SNFils have um, bilobe nucleus, um, basophil bilobe nucleus, they have bilobe nucleus. Usually, nucleus of basophils, they, don't, they cannot be visible, cannot be seen, because there are a lot of granules, basophil granules. Monocyte and um, Largest type of white blood cells is monocytes, which are responsible for phagocytos. And they have kidney-shaped nucleus morphologically. And the lymphocytes have large spherical nucleus. At the peripheral part, we can see thin cytoplasm. 
And in the last uh, slide, we can see all types of connective tissue. Example, this is the skin. Uh, if you remember, we said that the skin consists of the dermis, dermis below skin, you can see hypodermis, and epidermis, dermis. Mm, in the upper part of the dermis, we can find loose connective tissue. Uh, in the in the deepest part of the dermis, we can find fibrous connective tissue. Also, we can see here tendons, uh, and tendons which can connect muscles with bone, and tendons morphologically a dense regular connective tissue which mainly consists of collagen fibers, first type of collagen fibers. And the next one below dermis, we can find hypodermis, which consists of adipose tissue, which consists of adipocytes, and the collagen fibers also visible here. And uh, we can see one type of cartilage. According to this morphological uh, structure, we can see that this is a hyaline cartilage. Um, Articular surface of bone covered by the uh, hyaline cartilage. We can see a matrix part of the hyaline cartilage and the chondrocytes, which can form uh, matrix of the cartilage. And also another one is, you can see bone. Uh, we describe bone as one type of connective tissue, also consists of matrix, uh, matrix part uh, and uh, cells. And the last one is blood, uh, which is circulated into the bloodstream. We can see a different type of blood cells, uh, example, white blood cells, red blood cells, and these uh, spaces between the cells filled by the plasma. And uh, thank you for your attention. See you. Goodbye.